Tehran to Alabama. We just arrived to our destination to Salma, Alabama. We came from there, that's the entrance. I hope you can hear the birds. Here's the parking. I guess the building, another unit, nobody's there. So all this place is private, you don't have no one around you. Let me show you our view for these next seven days. It's perfect weather. It's around 4 p.m. right now. There is no sun. It's much cooler than Florida. I'm just gonna show the cabin first. You have your picnic, you can make a barbecue. You have your second floor that you can just chill there, small kitchen. The best part is here. Look what a surprise you have here. Here I'm gonna have my morning coffee. Look at this. Look at this. That's the vibe. Let's see. So cool. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's such a cool vibe to be in this cabin. Literally. Hey, Papi, you cannot come up. It's too high for you. First morning in Salma, Alabama. Look at this. Look what we got here. <laughs> Look how cool. And the place that we're staying, it's everything is kind of far. Like now we need to drive 20 minutes to Walmart to get some groceries. There's a lot of abandoned homes here and you can find like extremely cheap prices you can just buy the property and flip it like literally for 50,000 you can buy huge land and just build your own home and I was in the beginning excited about that you have this type of opportunity but then I'm thinking wow but there is nothing to do here it's completely like a ghost town and yeah that's an interesting concept
Alabama being hit with tornado in 2023 and it's caused a lot of damage to the homes since it's older homes here and that's why many people uh, left it they didn't want to repair because it cost a lot of money to do the repairs and they just left their home and moved to different towns and different cities that's why it explains a lot of abundant homes here surrounded by pecan trees a huge pecan trees look what I found here the owners of the place we stay in they are such a wonderful people they offer us uh, this little boat everybody today is our last day in Selma Alabama we decided to take you to archaeological historical park that called Old Cahava I hope I said it right we tried to read and me and Jose doing our best <laughs> so let's drive and show you how it look around Max and Rosie, are you ready for a new adventure? Alabama 
first state house. I'm gonna walk right now to the area that people was buried here. Miss this little house inside. We've been driving by and you barely can see it, it's hidden inside the bushes. Look at this cool house. Beautiful. Many of the graves, they've been vandalized many years ago and they've been repaired. You can see the crack right here, it's something that was vandalized. Husband and wife died one month apart. And look, there is another small grave next to them, maybe it's the baby. 1867 the person that was making those graves for people he that's the grave he made for his wife
a definitely amazing experience to come to this cemetery. It's people that died in the uh, 1800s. And the tour guide told me that the grave's been vandalized with a hammer and they've been trying to repair as much they could, but still you can see a lot of damage. And he also told me that I might see a ghost here. I didn't see, I was hoping to. Let's see, maybe on the video the ghost gonna show me. I love ghosts. What is that? Look who came to shoot. 